a win over a number one team in Houston. Oh, well, they've had some shock results too, like losing to Wagner. <laughs> some crazy ones, but they, Temple's a good basketball team. They've had a great game plan and they've executed well. Just over three to play in a three-point game. Veterans on the floor still for Houston. Five to shoot for Sasser. Missed it from three and a rebound wipe. And again, not enough movement offensively, so def the defenders are in position to get rebounds. Nothing happened on the offensive end in terms of the offensive glass for Houston. Just keep waiting for one of these possessions. Houston to finally get into some good action, and it's just not happening. Another long possession for Temple, which has not scored in about four minutes. Dunn, Cheney's on him. Dunn trying to draw the contact. No. And a chance for numbers of Mark Hurries here. Dunn behind the play a little late. Got back into it and transition well, the Owls did. But again, the defense is set, and they're all looking at the basketball. Shed. It's another tough shot. He missed it. Two Houston players went for the offensive rebound, and neither grabbed it. But, but where's the offense? That's been the challenge all game. There's a reason why 52 points are on the board. It has been good defense from Temple, but it's been good ISO defense, just forcing tough shots. Nine assists in the game for Houston. Under two to play. Number one on the ropes at home. Battle a step in. Into traffic. Smothered. A block shot for Mark. And Damian Dunn has to touch the ball more often. Trust his decision making. There goes Sasser. His shot rejected by Jordan. Houston wants a goal 10. And Roberts took it back. He stole it from Hicks. He can tie the game. Jawan Roberts simply did not give up on the play. It's almost as if there was some confusion there. A, a lot of people calling for a goal 10. Temple didn't take off. They were waiting, just kind of hanging on to the basketball. And Juwan Roberts, what a heady play. And he could tie it up with a May free throw if that happens. It hasn't much for Houston. Sorry for my sarcasm. What? And away we go. A seven to nothing run over the last four and a half minutes for Houston. And Temple has gotten away from good movement, good action, that has gotten them good looks. And now they're just holding the basketball here down the stretch, and they've taken nothing but tough contested shots. They're playing prevent offense. Dunn got into Roberts, and a foul called. Maybe and Dunn will shoot two, and Roberts has fouled out. Uh, I'm, I'm shocked by that one. Usually good with the replay. Let's take a look. I'm sure we'll slow it down. Oh, that's that's just bad. Nothing there. Not the way this game's been played, right? I would say maybe earlier in the game you could call that foul, but and you're going to call it on the shot. I, I just don't see it. I think Damian Dunn was hit more in the previous play than he was on that one. <laughs> That's going to shoot two. Roberts has to leave the game first. Binder, the tennis's first major of the year, rolls on down under tonight. A round of 16 Australian Open coverage continues 7 Eastern, 6 Central. ESPN Plus and ESPN 2. Now that's a tough one. Juwan Roberts has the last, what, five points? Yep. For Houston, he's been great. Uh, that's a tough one to lose Roberts late. Now you come back with Walker. Walker might be a little more fresh. But hasn't been great in this game. And here's Mr. Automatic at the line. I say, well, wow. would you believe that? Well, I would. You said <laughs> He was 6 for 6 in the game. He was 22 of 24 in the last two games before that miss. A little offense defense here where Hicks goes out, John Cooch comes in. I'm not sure if I like that because I like the versatility for Temple defensively. They've been able to do a lot of different things switching. Let's see what this does for them on the other end. Done for the lead. Got it. 56-55.
11 and 9 Temple leading number one Houston. What kind of movement can you create offensively that it hasn't been there for most of the game for Houston? Cheney looking for the back cut. Sasser was cut off by battle. Shed. Here's Cheney. Got John Cooch on him. Cheney in some trouble. Houston does have two timeouts, and Kelvin Sampson will implore his team to take one. And this is where, if you, throughout the course of the game, 11 to shoot as Sasser inbounds. One timeout remaining for Houston. The freshman Walker. He will give it to Shed. A deep three. In and out. Rebound Temple and Jordan. Do you foul? Seven second different shot game clock. I think you might have to at this point. Houston's going to play this out. Kelvin Sampson says, do not foul. Yeah, you, well, you don't want to foul Damian Dunn. Hmm. Jordan would have been the guy if you were going to foul. Instead, it is done. Try to be the closer. Five to shoot. Damian Dunn. A lot of contact. John Cooch throws it out. Now Houston must foul. No, it's a shot clock. Oh, it has to be a shot clock. Ball did not hit the rim. Ball did not hit the rim. It has to be a shot clock violation. This can be reviewed and certainly will by the officials. <laughs> How about your... Usually it's, a, you know, we talk home cooking when they don't reset the shot clock or they reset it too soon. This should have been reset. Let's see. I mean, or well, they shouldn't have reset it there. So, I, I mean... A 20-point favorite, a nine-game win streak, a 71-5 and record at the Fertitta Center. And a Temple team that had their hearts broken in Philadelphia just a week ago against Memphis. A buzzer-beating loss exactly seven days ago. Kendrick Davis get a jumper at the horn. Here's Shed. Houston, number one ranking on the line. Shed drives it. Shot blocked. Cheney shot blocked. Out of bounds. One second to go. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if you take a timeout and then have them look at the time on the clock. Jamal Shed will inbound with Mark Walker, Cheney, and Sasser. To me, it's Cheney and Walker who you have to look for slipping. Shed lobs it into Mark. No! Temple has done it! Temple slays the dragon! And number one goes down in Houston! 56-55, a milestone victory for Temple, taking down the nation's top team for the first time in more than two decades. Tremendous execution out of bounds underneath. You've got a great look. Tremont Mark curls tight. No one there at the rim. He just couldn't get it to go. And I said it. Temple didn't win this with, with all the shot making. They won it with a game plan. It was a game plan that welcomed pressure. They attacked out of that pressure. And Houston just didn't have an answer. Certainly didn't have the answer on the, on the offensive end. And defensively, Temple was able to control this basketball game. Good for Temple. They did not.